Hello guys, today's story is There's a walket in my pocket by Dr. Seuss. Did you ever have the feeling there's a wasket in your basket? Or a noru in your moru? Or a wasset in your closet? Sometimes, I feel quite certain there is a jerton in the curtain. Sometimes, I have the feeling there is a slock behind the clock. And that zelf up on that shelf, I have talked to him myself. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a nink in the sink, and the zamp in the lamp, and they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot, but that yodel in the bottle. I like the zable on the table and the gear under the chair. But that bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. All those nut boards in the cupboards. They're good fun to have about, but that toothbrush on my toothbrush, him, I could do without. The only one I'm really scared of is that bug under the rug. And that quimney up the chimney I do not like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the Zal scoots down the hall. But the yeps on the steps, they're great fun to have around. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. Like the teller, and the neller, and the geller, and the deller, and the beller, and the weller, and the zeller, and the seller. And the geeling on the ceiling, and the zower in my shower. And the Zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you don't believe it. That's the kind of house I live in. And I hope we never leave it. And that's the story of There's a Walket in My Pocket.